Web Development Process. In this lesson, you will learn how to identify the skills, function and job roles needed for a successful web development project. Describe the standard system development life cycle. Apply the system development life cycle to web development projects. The skills and functions needed for a successful large-scale project, especially for web development, are project manager, information architect, marketing representative, copywriter and editor, content manager, graphic designers, database administrator, network administrator, and web developer. These skills and functions are essentially the same as on any large projects. And each person may wear many hats and juggle their job roles. For example, the web developer may also be the graphic designer. Some job roles may be outsourced. An external website provider is used so there is less need for the network administrator. Project staffing criteria. Finding the right people to work on a project is crucial. Consider for their work experience and the work portfolio by them, formal education and also industry certifications to be recruited as the person who performed the job. Staff uh, project staffing criteria. Alternatively, the staff can be outsourced all or portion of the projects to the web design or development firm. This is the overview of web development processes. First, conceptualization. Second, analysis. There is together requirements. Third, design, there is to define the solutions. And fourth, production, there is to create content and also to construct the website. And fifth, to do the test for the site. Sixth, to launch and publish the website. Seventh, maintenance, to fix or enhance the website. And eighth, evaluation and also to review the website. For conceptualization, it is to determine the intended audience. In this step, it is also to determine the goal or mission of the website. For example, the short-term goal, the long-term goals, develop the measurable objective such as the number of the visitors, the percentage of the product sales, and the main job role uh, which are involved are client, project manager, information architect, marketing representative and also senior web developer to be involved in the stage of conceptualization for the website. In terms of analysis, there are a few steps to determine the following information topics, functionality requirements, especially of the high levels of the function of the website to determine what a site will do and not how it will do it and the environmental requirement and also the content requirement for the website. If a redesign of the website, compare the old approach with the new approach of the website and review the competitor's website during the analysis stage. Estimation of cost is also crucial. There is to identify the cost or the benefit analysis. And the main job that involved in this stage is client, project manager, information architect or other analysis, marketing representative, senior web developer, network administrator, database administrator and also the content manager. Many parties are involved actually. For the design stage, this is a stage to determine the site organization, 
and to also prototype the design of the website, determine a page layout page for that, and also to document each page. The main job, job roles involve uh, information architect and other analysis, graphic designer, senior web developer, content manager, client, project manager, marketing representative. This is a sample layout of uh, a wireframe for a web page design that shows the sections for the web page such as the page heading, the main navigational area, the heading part and also the content for the web page. Mm. And the final part is the page footer and also the copyright uh, section for the web page. And the location of the images and text are also identified. In the stage of production, usually the steps are choose a web authoring tool to do the production of the website and organize your site files, develop and individually test certain components that incorporated into the website and also add the content required for the website. The job roles involved are project manager, senior web developer, web developer, graphic designer, database administrator and content manager. On the testing of the website, uh, some, of our, some of the steps are test on different web browser and browser version, test with different screen resolutions, and test using different bandwidths, test from another location, and the job roles involved are project manager, web developer, tester, sometimes web developer, sometimes quality assurance person, and client, and also content manager. Type of testing during the testing stage. First, Automated testing tools and validation can be used to test the website. For example, automated testing like Link Checker or World Wide Web Consortium, HTML and CSS validation test. This is the automated uh, testing tools that are available by the World Wide Web Consortium. Second part of the testing can be conducted through usability testing. Testing how actual web page visitors use a website. Tests can be done at almost any stage of development, early stage, design stage, production or testing te or testing te uh, testing stage actually, which tests on the actual pages. Approval and the launch uh, process of the website. In this stage, uh, user and client testing. Client will test the site before giving official approval for the site launch. Usually, for the approval of the site and the launching of the site, it is to obtain sign-off form or email from the client, upload the site or the files to the web server, create backup copies of the files and also to make sure you test the website again and again to encounter any errors or any uh, discrepancy. Maintenance of the website. Maintenance is a never-ending task that also include enhancement of the website, fix a certain mistake to the site, and also new area to be added to the site. And maintenance also can have a new opportunity or issue is identified and another loop through the development process begins. Evaluation is to revisit the goal, objectives and the mission of the website and to determine how closely they are being met. Uh, based on the initial plan. Develop a plan to better meet the goals and objectives and also the mission of the website. 
At this point, let's do some check point. You may discuss this question uh, with your peers. Describe the role of the project manager. Explain why so many different roles are needed on a large-scale web project. List three different techniques used to test a website. Describe each technique in one or two sentences. To sum up, this chapter introduced the system development life cycle and its application to web development projects. The job roles related to website development were also discussed in this lesson. Apply these processes to your web development assignments.